Keith Platts. Uh, I lived in Barwell when the, the meteorite came to visit us on Christmas Eve in 1965. I lived down the common where the majority of the pieces landed and uh, we, our family managed to find a piece. We'd been out to visit my grandma over in Donington Leith on the, the day of, of Christmas Eve 1965. When we got back there was obviously there was a few people mentioning that uh, things had happened but because of proximity of Christmas and only being seven at the time it, uh, Christmas took the priority at the time but a few days later it was uh, evident that something had happened it was bafflement really because uh, um, up the road uh, Mr. Mrs. Crow's house uh, on the corner had been had a piece of the meteorite bounce on the road and through their front window and so I'd call the police out to investigate the hooligans that would have done this, but the piece of rock was quite hot, as you can imagine. Uh, so they, uh, they, they were very baffled, and again, some friends at the road had uh, a piece of the meteorite hit his car in the drive, and the, uh, he was a bit annoyed with the fact that he'd got a dent in his car, and so threw the piece of rock that had caused the damage into nearby waste ground and was never seen again. But my father found a piece on his allotment which was uh, the old cooperative field about 50 yards away from where we lived at the time. He was, went down to pick some brussels so he, um, when he got there he found a hole. Uh, it was a wet January if I remember right so these holes which were these craters were actually filling in with mud at the time, so that's why not a lot of it was found. But uh, noticing the hole, he dug down and found a piece of the meteorite. And uh, it, uh, because of the Christmas holidays, obviously the uh, the media and the uh, scientists didn't turn up until much later. The I can remember, but a few weeks after the event, uh, there was TV cameras and press people around. And then the, the scientists turned up, and with Patrick Moore coming to the area and uh, uh, with, the, with the cameras again and uh, having the films taken. Well, the Science Museum were put out a reward for the pieces of meteorite because it was, they, they reckon it was a, a significant size before it broke up and then the pieces landed around the village of Arwell. And that. Um, the reward, I think, was something like 10 shillings an ounce in old money. So um, a lot of the pieces were bought up by the British Museum, but my father decided that um, he would go... There was a, a request by the Leicester Museum for pieces, and so he, he said that he would uh, sell it to them instead of the, the British Museum. There was a lot of people, when the, the reward was mentioned, started coming into the area to, to investigate any pothole they could find. And there was, there was some significant holes, usually like most of the pieces were about the same size, so that the holes, because the ground was wet, the holes were much the same size. They were only about, normally about a foot across, if that. And the, the pieces had gone down a couple of feet. Uh, but again, the, the weather had been bad, so the, uh, most of these had been filling in. But uh, I think some of the holes were quite evident around the, around the, the recreation ground adjacent to the common road and uh, up by the garage for a few years. As a child, this sparked my interest in astronomy, although uh, it's sort of relaxed over the last few years. But uh, when... I don't know, the next year or so, I've, I managed to get hold of a, a small telescope and track the stars, but I never saw another one come down. It looks very much like it was in those days, so I don't think it's changed much. But uh, yes, it's, it's, a, it's a great pleasure to be holding the piece again. Mm -hmm.